I will show you a way that we can create self-referencing relationship in SQLize. I will do it in one to many relationship. So uh, an employee can have zero or one supervisors. So it's yeah, it's on see the zero or one, and each supervisor can have zero or many employees. Uh, and I will do it in the same users table. So the user is is an employee. And as uh, maybe at the same time is a supervisor, so I'll do it in our define relations function here. So okay. So first thing, I will just copy paste to save some time. I will try to explain it. So users has many. I will put past the users itself again, and the foreign key is supervisor ID, and I will give it an alias. I think you should give it an alias. I will call it employees. And the way you read this, a supervisor can have many employees through this foreign key, which means when you reach uh, each user you uh, query on, SQLize will try to match the, super, the ID for this user in the supervisor column ID to any other users, so in the join. So you will get an array of employees for each user, which means you will get an array of employees for each supervisor. But we need to do it the other way. We need to get the supervisor for each user. So and that is pretty much the same. So but it will be used belongs to and I will give it a name as supervisor. This means that when you are querying for each user, this means okay. This means that when you reach any user, SQLize will try to match the current supervisor ID with an ID in the user's table. So this is how you get the supervisor for each uh, employee. Uh, it might be a little bit uh, strange, but what I can do for now, okay, I will run it and I'll show you a couple of examples how we can query this and why does it make sense. So, and no dot, this should work. And I will try to show you I'll try to show you the database so we can take a look. And I will insert some data. One second. Okay. Okay, so this is our schema. Now the users have a relationship with itself. So here we have the supervisor ID. Okay, now I will insert some data into the users. I will insert and show it to you. Let's go. What is this, the data? We have four users. And th this is this is the only supervisor we have. And this is um, the employee that uh, have been has been supervised by this uh, supervisor. So when we query this, we should see uh, th this customer, th this user, sorry, should have an array of employees which should contain this employee. And also this employee should have an object called supervisor that has this, this user. Um, yeah, I hope this is clear. This is clear. But yeah, let me try and write the code for that. So we can, oh, first thing I will put false to false. So we don't need to delete the data again and set everything. So it's, it's a little bit easy. So const res will await users to find all. And this we need to pass an object for that. Our first property. So if you pass it an empty object, it will just get you everything. But I want to also include the supervisor and employees relation. By the way, by default, it won't include any relationships. So it won't do any kind of join. But if you wanted to do that, so I'll just pass include an array with the aliases of the relation. Or if, you, if this relation does not have an alias, for example, when we go to the posts or any other uh, relation, we can just pass the name of the table, but for now, we can just pass this. I was planning to do the examples in, in later videos, but I think for this one it's a little bit confusing, so I'll do an example. And 
So yeah, this is including our relationships. And now I will console log. That is dot map element. So for each element, I will just call a get function and pass plain to true. And this this result holds uh, a whole object which contains our data and a bunch of methods. Uh, comes from SQLize to get the data um, that that we want. We should get we should call the get function for each one of them. And to display it in a correct way in the console, I will use JSON dot stringify. I will, mass, I will pass this object or this array and null. This is the replacer and the space to two. This will make it look nice. And I believe that's it. So node. Okay. Let's take a look. So we have an array. First thing, this is the user of ID one, which if you remember, this is a, the supervisor. It has an array of employees, which contains the user of ID four. And the user ID two does not have an, a supervisor or an employee or any employee. And the user of ID four, I mean, I'm not sure why the user of ID four come before the user of ID three, but the user of ID four have a supervisor, which is stored in this object here. You can look also at the ID. So the supervisor ID is one. The supervisor object, the ID inside of it, has a value of one. And the, the final user does not have a supervisor or an employees. So this works fine. But if you want to look at the query that uh, SQLize made, you can pass. So th even, we, even that I passed uh, I pass to the connection logging false. You can still some see some things, so if we can pass logging. I will assign it to value console log, so it will use this function for logging. So you can do another things. You can pass any function you want, but I will use this function. So now if I run it again, we should see the query. So this is the query that uh, SQLize created. If you want to take a look at it, and. Yeah, so basically it's very smart. It realizes that it needs to create lift join and things like that. Anyway, I hope this was useful.